Hey guys, King Kate here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be giving y'all a complete beginner's guide on a dusty trip. Let's get right into this. So first off, I recommend doing this with multiple people because having multiple people sometimes makes it easier. But for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and be doing it solo. So let's go ahead and hop in here, set it to solo, and there we go. So I recommend doing it with maybe like a maximum of four people. I believe 10 people is the max, but having 10 people kind of makes it hard. But anyway, once you're in the game, this is what you'll see right here. You'll have a little task to the right of your screen showing you how to build a car we're just going to go ahead and click v tie that though so whenever you load in to open doors you have to go ahead and click on them and then drag your mouse to the right and then to close them you can go ahead and drag it to the left and so on so let's go ahead and open up both of these doors we also have hunger and stamina at the bottom left so you do have to make sure that you eat every now and then but basically what we need to do is we first need to build a car so there are two cars that you can choose from you can choose from this one right here which is the basic car or you could go ahead and choose from this one in the back which is what i recommend doing which i mean if you're doing this with lots of people you're kind of forced to do this one right here but if you're doing this solo then you could do the front one. i'm gonna do this one though because this one is good because it has a lot of space because what we're gonna do is we're gonna need a lot of space on our van to attach stuff so i recommend doing this one but anyway first off we have to build it so to build it you have to go ahead and grab stuff such as this right here so we would click f to grab it and then i believe this is the back door so we would go in the back go close enough until it says f to place and then we'll click it and then we'll go ahead and snap on also to open this back one we can go ahead and grab it drag it up and down to go ahead and open it and same with these doors so this one it doesn't go on this side it goes on on this side over here so we got to pick it up drag it over here place it and then once again we can go ahead and click on it and then drag it to open and close it also by the way you do want these doors because if you don't have doors on your car they will die from sandstorms so make sure that you do place them on there so let's place that one as well and then this thing right here goes in the front or we're not gonna place it on just yet so let's go ahead and smack these towers on also by the way if you want bigger towers you can run back here and you can use these towers i don't really recommend them because it kind of makes it harder but you can use them if you want yeah once again you go ahead and click f to pick it up go to the spot where it goes and then click f to place and then we'll just go ahead and lock in place sometimes the wheels do glitch and you will have to replace them but anyway there we go and now we need headlights so we will grab this thing right here go ahead and smack it on there and also for some reason this and this are glitched if they're not glitched for you then you can try putting them on but for some reason they're glitched and they don't snap on so that's kind of weird but anyway we'll go ahead and come back to that but now what we need is the radiator and engine so this right here let's go ahead and grab this let's run to the back of our car and for this one it goes in the front right here so let's jump up place it right there awesome also by the way if you choose to do this car it's pretty much the exact same thing but yeah anyway let's go and grab the engine so for the van back here the engine is kind of in a weird spot so to place it you have to drop it open up the door grab it and then you have to click e to sit down and then you have to place it right here in the middle but yeah let's click e to leave though and now we also need gas so let's grab this gas canister right here and now let's go ahead and bring it to back so in the beginning this is always nine liters of gas there we go so to go ahead and see the contents hover over the nozzle and then it will show you what's inside this is important because sometimes you'll find some of these and there'll be water gasoline and some other stuff so make sure that is gas so gas goes right here in the back hover over the little gas tank and then just go ahead and drop it in and this one has nine liters gas so we'll go ahead and stop once it reaches nine and then we can just go ahead and drop that since it's useless now that's empty so, so let's run in here and the last things we need is pretty much just food so yeah so food also by the way if you're doing this car over here make sure you do grab this and go ahead and toss those on because these are headlights but those don't work for the van also we can clean the car if we want so we can grab this sponge and if we want it to look nice we can go back here and we can click on our van just to go ahead and wash the entire thing so there we go it doesn't work for all of them but there we go looking pretty nice now what we want to do is we want to grab food so all the food in the building grab it and go ahead and attach it so the apple doesn't really attach sometimes so yeah so if it doesn't attach for some reason just go ahead and crack open the back and then we can just go ahead and drop it in and close it well for the banana and the baguette over here most times they do work so we can pick this up carry it out here and then on the side of the van right here click z and then we'll just attach attach it to the side so that is why we have this giant van back here because it has a lot more space than the regular one up there so, so now let's grab the banana and we'll need the stuff later on so that's why we're grabbing it and then we'll just go ahead and smack that right there there we go and that is pretty much everything we need let's just go ahead and grab a wheel because sometimes if you crash your wheels do go flying away so we're just gonna go ahead and grab a wheel for backup and toss right there so now once you have everything and everything is popped in we can go ahead and smack this on right there and then we can go ahead and hop in so open up the door click each sit down make sure you close the the door make sure you close the door or else you will die from the sandstorm and now go over here click this little lever and make sure it's being put down because that is the brakes right there 
shotgun click r to start it and if everything works correctly your van should start and then you should be able to start driving away which sometimes the van is kind of goofy if there are things like blocking the tires so we had to back up and now we can go ahead and start driving away so now we just got and drive on the road right here and pretty much what i recommend doing is just driving to past the sandstorm which is around like 1.3 thousand meters because a sandstorm will happen also we're looking for buildings on the side because if there's buildings on the side then we can stop there and then loot them and also there are people that can kill us in there so we want to be careful so if you're in the middle of a sandstorm you could hop out and loot the buildings if you want but if you're out there you will slowly start to die so i don't really recommend it like that's building right there so what i do is i just keep driving towards the end also make sure you don't crash because if you crash you pretty much lose so make sure you're paying attention on the road for any rocks because rocks do appear on the road and if your van flips and you don't have like any tnt or anything or if you pretty much just crash it's pretty much game over for you so we're pretty much just constantly driving forward until we pass the sandstorm but once the sandstorm ends like right now it's pretty much over because we made it far enough now we want to look for buildings because we're gonna need gas and like all sorts of stuff soon so just look around for if you see any buildings if you're good enough at the game then i guess you could stop at the buildings that are inside the sandstorm but if you're new then i kind of just recommend passing them for now but anyway let's just go ahead and keep looking around because we're gonna run low on gas soon you can also see your stats on this right here so we see how fast we're going and how much fuel we have so we're very low on fuel right now so hopefully we can find a building soon if we don't find a building then we could always run on foot but that does take a lot longer and we did just run out of fuel but i see two buildings up here so yeah so let's go ahead and hit the brakes and oh snap our van almost just flipped right there and yeah we ran out of fuel let's go ahead and hit the brakes right there just so our van doesn't roll away and now let's go and grab the door swing it open hop out if you have enough gas then i recommend pulling it up to the building but if you don't then i guess you could just run there so we just need to really hope that these two buildings right here have gas because if they don't then we're pretty much dead but anyway there's a mutant in here so there are ways to kill him but right now we don't really have anything so he will start to attack us and all right so it doesn't really look like there's anything in that one let's just go ahead and take a quick look around so it looks like this building doesn't have anything all there is is a traffic cone which we don't need so that's kind of unlucky anyway let's run over to this building over here and hope that has stuff which it does look like it is a garage which i'm pretty sure garages usually have quite a bit of stuff so hopefully there's something in there and if they're not we could either keep running until we find another building and then bring back a gas canister or we could just go ahead and leave the game but anyway let's crack it open so there is a canister right there and hopefully this dude doesn't attack us right now and all right there are also weapons such as this pistol right here so we can grab this pistol and we can use it to kill this dude also you do have a limited amount of ammo so make sure you do be careful but anyway there we go so if you found a pistol you can use it to kill them there are also other stuff you can use to kill them such as fly swatters and all sorts of stuff fly swatters axes and lots of other stuff you can use to kill them but anyway here's a gas canister let's check it out so it's 7.9 liters of diesel diesel will not work so use diesel for a va engine which is the best engine but we are just looking for gas right now because our car doesn't use this so that is very unlucky for us but if you were to find gas then you would bring it back over to your car but anyway you would bring it back over to your car fill it up and then you would drive your car back over here and then you can go ahead and loot up on all this stuff right here which i just realized there is a canister of oil right here sometimes oil is in the same thing as this but we did find a canister of oil which would be helpful if there was gas in here but sally there isn't but anyway if you get weapons like this you would bring them back over to your car and it would slap them on the side of your car so we do this and then we would click z and then we would just place them on the side of a car and then we can go ahead and bring it with us but yeah so you would use weapons like this a pistol a flash water axe and like some other weapons and you can go ahead and kill the mutants or if you don't want to kill them then you could just run around and try to avoid them so this is food right here so you would also put this on the side of your van as well because you'll need it later on since it is food and it will fill up your hunger pretty much all this other stuff is useless though we would bring this oil canister right here and we would also bring the pizza the apple and some other stuff but of course we would bring our van closer but anyway let's grab this and let's just bring it back to our car even though it's not gas but anyway i'll show you all how to fill it up so once we're back at our car if this was gas we would toss it in here but sadly it is diesel so it won't work for that also by the way if you accidentally put diesel in here and you have gas at the same time your car will not work so since we have diesel in there even if we put gas in there our car won't work since there is diesel so how you open it is is you have to go ahead and grab the back wheel and you have to take it off because we have to go ahead and put our car at a slant so if we can even grab it is pretty difficult sometimes so it is pretty difficult but after you take the wheel off go ahead and open up this and all of the stuff inside will slowly spill out so make sure you dump it out and make sure you stop it whenever there's only gas left so yeah so if you accidentally put diesel in there it is possible to pour it out but you will lose gas as well which if you go ahead and put it in here as you can see it does like drop out so see it doesn't fill up right now since it is all spilling out the side but yeah anyway that's how you go ahead and empty up the diesel and then you can go ahead and pop the wheel back on right there also by the way you need to pay attention to two 
other things because you need gas for your car, but you also need water and oil. So you would put water in the radiator. So right here, here's the radiator. We would click E to open up the valve. And then we would go ahead and fill it up with water if there is any water. But if we have oil, then we would go in here and then we would open up this thing right here, our engine. And then you put oil inside the engine. So water in the radiator, oil in the engine, and then gas in the car right here. And also if you have extra oil, water, or gas, what I recommend doing is just putting it on the side of your car. So let's say we fill this all the way with water and we still have extra water in our container. We would pick it up like this, put it on the side of our car, and then click Z to attach it. And then it would just be on the side of our car and we can drive away with it. So I recommend doing that just so you don't waste any water or oil because you will eventually need it. And yeah, we just kind of got unlucky this time. And since we got unlucky, there's not really anything we could do. If you have Robux, then what you could do is you could click on this little radio in your car and then you could like call in some gas and stuff. But that does cost Robux. So you don't really need to do that. But anyway, since we don't have any gas and I don't really feel like keep running until I find a building, we are just going to go ahead and restart. So we would just go ahead and reset our character just like this. And then the game will go ahead and be over and we'll have to restart. But anyway, that is pretty much a complete beginner's guide on a dusty trip though. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next video.